This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570 EX calculator to solve the combination type of questions. So basically for combination NCR, it has its own formula, which is N factorial over N minus R factorial, R factorial. So example, let's say today I have seven C4. I can straight away use the calculator to get the answer seven C. C is above the divide button. 4 here, which is 35. So what if, if you want to do the manually, it's basically it's 7 factorial over 7 minus 4 factorial and multiply again for 4 factorial because my R is 4, my N is 7. So I, I can just tap everything into the calculator if I want. Factorial button is above uh, this X here. So 7 factorial over 7 minus 4, which is 3 factorial. And normally I would just do a multiply for it, 4 factorial. And then the calculator should tell me the same result, which is 35. Okay, because sometimes you will need to use the formula to solve the exam questions. But if you already have N and R, normally you do need to use a formula. But if you only have N, you need to find R like this, then you need to use formula. So at the same time, if you don't have N, you have R, you also need to use the formula. But if you have N and R, like this case, N, like 7C4, you can straight away use the calculator without the formula. Okay, this is one of the very important tips in the exam. All right, so over here, I want you to understand what's the difference between R, MPR, and NCR. If you watch my previous video, you should know MPR basically is like you have N item, you want to choose R item and then you arrange all the R item. So for NCR is N item, you only choose the R item and you does not arrange them. Okay, I, maybe I insert some numbers to give you some idea. Like 10 P4 and 10 C4. I want to know what's the difference between them. Like 10 P4, basically I have 10 item, I choose the 4 item and then I arrange all these 4 item. But for 10 C4 over here, basically means I have 10 item, I choose the 4 item only, I does not arrange the 4 item. But let's see the, the answer for 10 P4. It's like quite big, which is 5040. But if I do 10 C4, I will get a number is quite reasonable, which is 210. Okay, what if I want to make them equal? So what I can do over here is, because I know here for permutation, they actually do one more, one more extra step, which is arrange the four item. So from the previous video, you already know, if I want to arrange four item, what I will do is, I just do four factorial. Basically four factorial basically means I arrange the four item. So so what is 4 factorial here? Uh, this is factorial, okay? So 4 factorial is 24. So if I do 210 multiply 24, you realize I will actually get back the same result, which is 5020. Then I actually getting the same result with the 10 P4. Okay, so over here, at least you need to have some idea what is the difference between 10 PR and 10 CR. But when will we use the R? 10 CR, that's mean com combination here. Okay, so example, so let's say I have 10 men and six women. So if I have 10 men and six women, let's say I want to choose the two men and two women to join the dance competition. So this is what happened. So I, I have 10 men, I want to choose any of the two men to join the dance competition. So so which is 10 C2, because I do not need to arrange these two men. So at the same time, if I want to choose uh, two women from the six women here, it's called six women, I will choose two. All right, so at the middle here, you have two choice. You can either do multiply or plus, but what's the difference between them? So I will give you both, and then I tell you the difference. So over here, it's like 10 people, uh, 10 men, I choose 2 men, 6, six women, I choose 2. So if multiply basically mean n. So in this case, total, I actually choose 2 men and 2 women. So I actually choose 2 men and 2 women to join the dance competition. But plus over here mean or. So if I do like this, basically I choose 2 men or 2 women. 
to join the dance competition but over here basically i only will choose two only but here i actually choose four of them so i hope here at least you will see the difference if you're able to see the difference i'm going to go into the uh, one of the exam type of questions so this question they say 10 different color marble in the box so find at least eight marble can be chosen from the box here okay so over here there's few keywords the first keyword is at least eight marble so basically right now you have 10 so you know your n is 10 but your r value here must be at least a so what you can do over here is okay because i want to choose at least a right so that's me there's i'm going to list out all the possibility the first possibility is i have 10 marble i will choose a from the box this is the number of way i can choose the marble and i because it's at least a right i cannot stop here but 10 marble i can choose nine nine is more than a right so it's fine then the 10 marble i will choose 10 because they said at least a right and then over here you need to decide you should you multiply or you should you plus at the middle but because here if i do multiply right what will happen is multiply basically mean you add all the r number together basically here it will mean you will choose about 8 plus 9 plus 10 so 8 plus 9 plus 10 which is 27 so over here it's like total you choose about 27 marble which is not possible because you only have 10 marble here so in this case it will be a plus here plus means what plus basically mean 10 marble i choose 8 or 10 marble i will choose 9 or 10 marble i will choose all 10 so basically plus mean or because here they say at least eight right so this is all the alternative way so we can use plus here and then the last step is i do not need to use a formula like what what i say if you have n and r you can just use the calculator so i will just do 10 c 8 plus 10 c 9 plus 10 c 10 and then i can easily get the answer for this kind of questions all right, I hope you find this video helpful. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step by step guide here. So, in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just type Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here just in case you cannot see you can go into here search in shop over here you just tap 570ex and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then click on it and then just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio map and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like five ringgit off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74. if you have any question Feel free to post at the comment section below or else I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.